I'd like to take a few moments to show you a standalone uh, DCC++ throttle that allows you to control speed direction of up to uh, four different locomotives as well as functions such as uh, bell and whistle horn that sort of thing. What I have set up here is a uh, test track in the background with a locomotive on it. One of the uh, prototypes, I've made two so far, this happens to be a plastic case, we'll talk about more about that in a minute. And I have a second one back here that was a wooden prototype that I made. And a DCC++ controller, completely stock standard controller back here. And the two are connected. And what it allows me to do is to uh, select up to four different locomotives. So if I press the button on the right here, you see I'm on locomotive two, locomotive three, locomotive four, and so on. Um, the locomotive that I want to test is on address 3, so what I want to do is change this first loco to address 3. And the button on the left is labeled loco address, so I'll press that button, and it says set DCC address for number 1. And since it's a, uh, a one-digit number, the 3, I need to put in all four digits, so I'm going to go 0, 0, 0, 3 and you may be able to hear the sound in the background. The locomotive just made a little bit of noise. And if I turn the potentiometer, the, the throttle, if you will, to the right, the engine goes away from me. And you'll notice the little carrot here indicates the direction. And if I put it to zero, it stops. And let's see if we can see both. Turn it to the left, or counterclockwise, the carrot changed direction. And here comes the locomotive back. I'll slow him down, bring him in for a stop. If I press any of the function buttons down here on the keypad, one, for example, you can probably hear the bell dinging. Turn that off. You'll also notice this display of zeros here changes as I select different. There's the horn. And it will show me, uh, by changing a 0 to a 1 down here, whether a particular function is on or off. Again, I can press the button on the right to go to locomotive number 2345, which is the second loco. Number, well, I skipped over one. Let me go back here. 3456, which is number 3, or 4444, four, 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 which is number 4. Uh, as far as the build on this is concerned, there's really not a whole lot to it. The first one that I made is over here. Uh, the case is made out of uh, quarter inch, or excuse me, eighth inch uh, plywood. You see some of my sample cuts here. I just build up layers of this plywood using a laser cutter to make a case. And there's a two line liquid crystal display at the top, potentiometer here, and two buttons. This keypad on the prototype was made by hand with uh, 12 buttons and just a piece of acrylic that I drilled out with the laser cutter. This one's a little more sophisticated. It uses a uh, commercial uh, 3x4 keypad. And if you're trying to duplicate this, make sure you get the 3x4 keypad that's laid out this way. It much, makes it much easier to work with. And inside, if I turn that over, you can see the back of the uh, liquid crystal display up here. The buttons, the potentiometer, there's an Arduino Pro Mini and a circuit board that I actually had used for a different project. I just used that to simplify the construction. As far as connection to the, um, the DCC++ controller, there's a three conductor cable that goes from the throttle to the DCC++ controller. It has a black wire, a red wire, and a white wire. Black is ground, red is plus five volts, and white carries the serial data from the throttle to the receive pin on the serial port on the DCC Plus controller. Uh, it still has some bugs in the software. There's some development to do. And I'm looking forward to next week when some radio control modules will be coming in that may me, allow me to make this, uh, with very little effort, into a wireless unit. I have to put a battery inside, but that's not a big deal. So I will uh, let you know when that one comes, if that works out. And all in all, it's turned into a pretty nice project. It's very simple to use, very easy to use, and not all that difficult to build.